<clears throat> well, what can I say, man? Two overtime losses in a row. Uh, I don't believe we've done it since in the early 2000, I think it was 2002. We did it in 2002. I don't know if we lost them both, but we went back to back overtimes. Um, ain't much to say about it. I mean, we played really, really rough. I mean, we tried. Uh, Fitzpatrick was given multiple chances to win the game there at the end. Um, uh, there's no real excuse for it at all. I mean, uh, Kansas City tried to hand us that game so many different ways. Um, it was just a rough way to lose it, man. Again, I just I don't I don't know. Well, I mean, all the players seem to be playing tough. Um, it doesn't seem like uh, it doesn't seem like the Dick Duran era. Uh, I definitely can see the uh, the passion in the the f the players. Um, I just I think it's a building block. Um, I guess we're just gonna face it. They were probably gonna have a top five draft pick. Um, not very happy about it. Uh, thought we could have done more this season. Uh, hopefully the off season goes quickly and we're, we're right back in it again, I hope. <laughs> but uh, we played the Bears this week. Um, and we signed Sean Merriman. I don't know why. I mean, I guess, you know, maybe next year, new team, new, maybe he'll re-sign a contract. I don't know. It's hard to tell. He might just bounce at the end of this year. Play a couple of games, bounce. So, I don't know. Um, we'll have to see about that one. Uh, Paul Paul's lesson, he looked really good last week. 18 tackles, career high. Like a quarterback hit and some quarterback pressure or something like that. It was good. I was impressed. Um, I was actually wearing his jersey too, so it looked cool. Uh, I wish we would have won the game though. That's all that really matters. Um, we play the we play the Bears this week. Uh, looks like we just got to. Looks like we're going to be uh, putting two on Julius Peppers all day long. Probably going to be lining up a tight end on that side. Probably Martin, or probably going to be chipping him with the full back, or chipping him with the back. Um, I don't know. Um, he's definitely the Bears' number one pass rusher. He definitely makes you plan around him. Um, the game's in Toronto, so hopefully Canadian fans can give us a good clapping so we could sure use it, man. Um, I feel like uh, I feel like we're gonna win this one. Um, I took us I took us on the internet uh, with my parlay and my bet of all my teams. I took I took them to win plus three. Um, I think we're gonna finally get the Bears. They're not that great of an offense. Uh, we've been doing pretty good. I think we're gonna be able to beat them. Uh, we got a good chance this week. I think we're gonna finally get over the hump and get our first win. It's gonna be a grinder, probably like 20 to 20 to 20 to 14, 20 to 13, 20 to 10. It's gonna be a grinder. Um, like all the other games we played all year long. Um, if you look at half our schedule, so far we played, there's like five games we really could have won. Five games. Five games we could have won. If we could have just been a little lucky here and a little lucky there, we would really have a different record right now. Instead of being 0-7, we could literally be 5-2. and two. No doubt. 5-2. Five 5-2. and two. Five and two. So I feel like uh, I feel like we uh, are definitely gonna have some building blocks. I think if Fitzpatrick definitely elevates his way, uh, having 200 yards a game, no interceptions, one or two touchdowns, and manages the football games and wins them. You know, wins is the second half of the year for us. So we're basically thinking we can win four or five games, and those other couple we lose would be grinders. Really have really good games that we lose. Um, I think Fitzpatrick can really be the starter next year. I think we should draft players around him. Um, I don't know how they're going to do on the offensive line so far. Um, I think the whole scheme is kind of um, off balance. I don't really know exactly how the players they are going to go for drafting. I think we're going to be drafting maybe linebacker, defense, 
we allow the run like no other. So, I don't know if it's the players, the scheme, or combination of both. And it's probably a combination of both. I mean, we all we all pretty much know that it's a combination of both. But uh, if we can't stop the run, the Bears, all they're going to do is try to run the ball. Um, Jay Cutler sucks. Um, as long as we can pressure him a little bit, um, I think we'll be able to have a good day. Uh, I think we're going to get our first interception this week. It's going to happen. Jarius Bird is going to get his uh, interception against his dad's team. So uh, I'm excited to see that. But uh, hopefully the Bills can get this one. I just want to wrap it up. I don't want to yap. But uh, let's go, Buffalo. Um, let's get this one. Uh, the Bears are no nobody. They're just like the Chiefs. They're just an average good team. Fight them to the end. Double overtime. Back-to-back -back weeks. Let's get a win this week. Let's go Bills.